Money Talks is brought to you by the Heritage Family Credit Union. Your community, your credit union. In this week's Money Talks, Access sits down with the Director of Financial Literacy for Champlain College. John Peltier, Center for Financial Literacy, is actively addressing the issue of lack of personal finance across the state by teaching graduate level courses for teachers to take back to their classrooms. Fairhaven Union High School is one of the schools in the state that's taking part in research for the center. By instituting a mandatory personal finance requirement for the graduating class of 2018. Today, we sit down with John Peltier of Champlain College to talk about the work his center is accomplishing. The goal of the center is really to promote personal finance education, K through 12, collegiate, and adult. At, at the college level, as it relates to our campus, uh, we're one of the few colleges in the country that requires students take some level of personal finance training as a graduation requirement. So uh, that's how we live it there. Uh, at the K through 12 level, we've been very involved with teacher training initiatives. Uh, so uh, you know we're one of uh, the few places, frankly, in the country that has ever offered a graduate degree course on how to teach personal finance. For most schools across the state of Vermont, personal finance is not a requirement for graduation. More surprisingly, some don't offer the class at all. Those that do, it's typically an elective. Fairhaven is one of several schools now working with the center to collect data. We're following a group of those trained teachers from Fairhaven Union, U32, and uh, Burlington High School into the classroom. Uh, we've worked with the National Endowment for Financial Education to create a test. So we're giving students a test at the beginning of a one semester course on personal finance and at the end we're, we're gathering that data over two academic years and we're going to be comparing that to uh, a, a group of uh, students at control group high schools that I can't name in Vermont, I promised I wouldn't, uh, but we're going to be giving those students the exact same test in the exact same time intervals uh, and just based on the first academic year of data capture uh, you know, we, we, we know that uh, a standalone personal finance class uh, does have an impact. Most schools in the state believe personal finance is taught at home, outside of the classroom. The center says that's not a safe assumption. Parents don't talk to their children uh, about money. Uh, and, and so you've got to look at the underlying adult statistics in the state. Um, so we expect parents to be the ones teaching the children, yet we know based on data from Experian that 47% of Vermonters have subprime credit. So that means by being subprime instead of prime, they're paying, I don't know, two, three percent more a year uh, if they get if they can get a mortgage uh, on their home equity lines, on their credit card debt, uh, on their automobile loans. So um, they clearly don't know how to have good credit. So 50% of, you'd assume, parents in the state um, shouldn't maybe be the ones teaching their, their kids because they're not living it themselves. The other thing we know is we have uh, an unbanked population in the state of adults who don't even have uh, used banks at all or they're underbanked. Uh, we have people who are using rent to own. So, uh, you know, you want to buy a television that costs six hundred dollars if you do it on, on a rent to own program even though those monthly payments seem easy to make uh, you're, you're probably paying twice as much uh, than if you saved the money if you delayed the gratification saved that money up and bought it so uh, and the same is true with washing machines dryers uh, dishwashers uh, there's there's that whole rent to own business uh, uh, that exists in the state so you've got to look at where are the kids learning it in order to make a significant impact on the next generation in the state of Vermont, the center believes schools need to make personal finance a graduation requirement so students, no matter what their academic level, have a strong financial foundation before leaving high school. Next week on Access, we'll take a closer look at how the center plans to help schools across the state accomplish this.